Hi there, and welcome to this week's episode of the Guest List Podcast. I'm your host, Steve Guest. Um, and as always, this is a solo episode. And today I wanted to talk about a culmination of opportunities. And y- you read lots of quotes and you see lots of statements about opportunities and having that growth mindset. We've talked about it before on this podcast. And I think it's really important to to keep thinking in I suppose, a solution and opportunistic manner to create the path that you want moving forward. And I went on a, a drive yesterday. I got to spend the day playing at Wentworth Golf Club, which was amazing and massively, massively grateful. Um, it's an opportunity in itself to have even been there. And I suppose I wanted, I want to talk through the journey and and take you back a little bit to talk about um, how things have progressed. Um, so I've spent a long time in recruitment and um, you, you kind of make your own path, your own success. You put the hard work in. There's lots of long hours. There's lots of drive and motivation and everything else that you need to, to be successful in recruitment. And when when I left Fast Track after 11 years, the initial plan, this was back in 2019, so I left actually almost a year, um, sorry, three years ago um, this week. And the initial plan was to um, gain that, I suppose, that work-life balance, have six months to myself and, and almost become um, the recruiter again and just concentrate on, on my recruitment day to day six months of just managing myself and then at the end of that six months the initial plan was to either look at potentially growing the recruitment business or become a third party consultant and go and help other recruiters other recruitment businesses that want to scale um, or mentor or coach consultants within the the company and it kind of obviously all went went well and then covid hit in in march And that changed my thought process and plan. Recruitment industry pretty much stopped. Lots of people on furlough, lots of people sat at home, lots of recruiters not knowing what was around the corner. And um, I did that week where I put a post out to see who needed some help, who needed some support, um, whether you needed a, a conversation, a chat, a rant, a cry, whatever it might be. I said, let's book in. We'll have a 30 minute Zoom call over. LinkedIn um, and I'll see if I can add value and hopefully by the end of the 30 minutes we will um, we will have helped each other I miss the accountability of working with people um, and working with recruiters and I hoped that that week would be valuable and useful it ended up being 62 recruiters it was global it was worldwide Um, there was consultants from Hong Kong Singapore South Africa New Zealand the US Canada parts of Europe, obviously the UK. Um, And it was a really empowering, motivating week. It was exhausting, but it was it was a great week. And that taught me that there were lots of um, gaps in training, in education and um, in a recruiter's, I suppose, life span. Um, And I felt I could add value. And there was an opportunity there to to go and coach and mentor on a global scale, um, which I hadn't thought of before. Initially, my thoughts were were obviously local um, businesses. But because the Zoom calls were were all over the world, it it kind of changed my thought process. And I could see an opportunity to create uh, the online virtual recruitment training program, which is now two years old. and, And we've trained and mentored getting close to about 100 recruiters now which is fantastic and as I say the opportunity was born out of um, the willingness to add value in the first instance and if we we kind of speed that up a year I um, I initially struggled with working from home and I think it was more down to the fact that our two boys were were young and they would perhaps coming to the office, they'd want to spend time with their dad because I was at home 
And I felt guilty because I was trying to work and I was consistently saying, I've just got to make this call. I've just got to send this email. Just hold on a second. I'll be out in a minute. Um, and I decided that the best thing to do would be to, to get an office. And it allowed me to have that break from, from home life to, to then go and, go and work and concentrate on what I needed to get done. And we'd had the office for nearly a year. And then I got a call from um, Tom, who previously worked for me or with me at Fast Track. And he was looking for a move, wanted a new challenge. And the day that he rang me, I'd given notice on the office to, to trial working from home again. And I'd actually sent the email to say, we no longer need the office. Tom rang and said, are you looking for anyone? And my initial reaction was, well, no, we're not. Um, just the two of us, Emma and myself, we were quite comfortable at the time. Um, and I wasn't quite sure whether we were looking to, to grow the business. But I agreed to meet with Tom and we had a chat. And knowing what Tom was like as a consultant as, and as an individual, I knew he'd bring value. So we decided to, to offer him a position which took our business up to three people. And it was a calculated risk. Tom is a known um, value from having previously worked with him. And obviously we kept the office. So we started to work and, and Tom was really good for me. It gave me greater accountability, greater drive. Um, it motivated me to do well and, and support Tom. So I think from a business perspective, it was a really good opportunity, as I say, a calculated risk as well that allowed us to propel forwards. And off the back of all this, while, while things were happening, I'd created the free Facebook group um, as a place for recruiters to go and, and ask questions and offer support and collaborate and, and help. And during that period, the group was probably about a year old. And a member of the REC was within the group. Um, for those that don't know, REC, Recruitment Employment Confederation, um, help govern recruiters within the UK. Um, they offer support. It's a membership. Um, they offer various support in various guises. Um, and it's a really good network to be a part of. And um certainly a fantastic accreditation for any businesses or individuals that are part of the REC. Someone within the REC was in the Facebook group and they had been watching what I was doing and contacted me to say that they'd like to work in partnership with me to help um, promote and support the recruitment training program that I'd created during lockdown. Um, and then you can see there's another opportunity and the, abil the ability to collaborate and give the program credibility, again, came from offering something um, of value that can support people for no real, um, I suppose, payback initially. It was, it was very much to create a community where people felt comfortable with asking and sharing um, their ideas and thoughts. Um, and then through that, I started to do a bit of work with the recruitment network. And I was asked to record videos and various added value to their community. And I think if I look back, it's a collection of going out there to do well with integrity and offer support, offer value, um, help individuals that might need it. But off the back of all of that, comes opportunity and I say that on the back of um, this week we've had another person join the business so we're now up to five individuals as a business and and I think that really dates back to um, that initial kind of moment where we took Tom on and we could have quite easily given notice it could still be uh, myself and Emma running the business and we could have kind of carried on as we were but I think in life, in business, in work, in everything we do, you always have paths to choose. And I think if you don't take the one with opportunity, you'll live a life of what may might have been, what may be um, that life of regret. I wish I'd done that or I'd wish I'd taken that forward. And 
it takes me back to that quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And I think sometimes you've just got to go for it and, and make it happen. But also you've got to be open to the fact that opportunities all around us all of the time. And we're either closed off to it or we're open to it. Um, as I say, now we're a team of five. Recruitment training program has been going a couple of years with close to 100 um, mentees that have gone through the program. And back uh, off the back of the REC, I was asked to play in a um, corporate event uh, a couple of months ago, which was fantastic. And it was a great group of um, recruiters from, from all over the country. It was a really good day. The sun was shining, played pretty decent golf. Um, and that's culminated in a round at Wentworth yesterday. Wentworth is an amazing course, if you don't know it, um, certainly have a look. Um, fantastic day with with people that I'd now um, class as friends as much as as um, people that I've I've kind of found within within work, within the circles that I'm I'm mixing. And again, you could class that as as an opportunity, but it's got to come from the fact that you're out there to add value in the first place and you're consistently looking for the opportunities that arise along the way. So I thought I'd share that journey. I thought I'd share the story with you. I hope that's been useful. Um, if you take anything away from this, this podcast, I would say just start looking for the opportunity. If you think there's an opportunity there and it's a calculated risk and you can manage the downside um, with the potential of an upside, then, then I would just say go for it. So have fun. Keep in touch. Let me know how it all goes and I will catch up with you soon.